Hi everybody, welcome to the Cozy Hermitage craft room. My name is John. Oh, so how's everybody been? It's uh, it's been pretty. Weather's been pretty good over here. Um, it was sunny with scattered clouds today. It was pretty nice. I can't remember what the temperature was, but it was it was comfortable enough that didn't have to wear a jacket or a coat or anything and you could just go out in a t-shirt and you didn't get too hot and you didn't get too cold it was just just about right so that was that was good weather um let me see my son had his last track meet last saturday and did very well very proud of him and uh yeah, and then um, my mind just went blank. <laughs> uh, we visited, um, did I already say this? This is visited uh, my friend, uh, best friend Tony, who's passed away, his, his wife and son Ben. Um, they, they live in Federal Way, and it was good to see them again and uh, talk and visit for a while. My wife drove us up there and we're over there, and it was, it was really a nice time visiting and, and everything. And we got some things for the Hermitage uh, workshop. You can watch that channel if you want to see what we got. And, but uh, but it was really it was really good to visit and see see them and um, yeah find out how they're doing I'll have to go back over there again and visit again here soon um, daughter went camping uh, last Saturday and Sunday she went over to the coast over I think she went over I can't remember if it was ocean shores or Long Beach or something over on the coast of Washington and then I think she drove down to Seaside and Rachel if you're watching this you can put in the comments where you where you went or if you want to anyway she uh, she went and played the game and won me won a prize that she gave to me a little pig. <laughs> so he's really cute. So find a place for him in here. I don't know if he's gonna fit there. What's that? Yeah, let's see if he sits there. There, he sits there. From Santa Claus, but we'll find a better place for him. And then, um, my wife had a doctor's appointment yesterday, and we went to, you know, we went went shopping to at Costco and and. First place it was in Wenatchee we had to go to. That's about two, two, two and a half hours away from us. And uh, anyway, we went to Goodwill. And I found a card catalog. I can't see here. There we go. It even has the stopper. And that was $4.99. And look at the dovetails. And this is really nice. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. My mom, um, for those of you who don't know, I used to, I worked in the, at uh, Big Bend Community College in the library. And 
I went to school and in uh, at Highline Community College in Federal Way and uh, took their library technology program, who, which uh, my instructor and advisor was Tommy. And we became really good friends and did a lot of stuff together. And he'd come over and I'd go over there and it was, it was really, really good. I really miss him. But anyway, so that's part of my library heritage. I had, if I saw, had to, had to buy that, just had to. So, so those are my acquisitions. Um, I've done a lot of knitting this week. Um, I went and started, I was uh, watching um, YouTube, some of the crafty shows that I watch and I was knitting and it seemed like this, this ball of yarn or this, you know, the skein of yarn like this just, I don't know if it was wound wrong or whether I pulled the wrong end out or, or what, but both ends came out the same side. And as you're knitting and pulling out, they'd, they'd wrap around each other. And so you'd have to, and then they'd get tangled and then you'd have to sit there. And after each row, I have to untangle it. So I knit, 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 untangle, untangle, knit, and knit. I finally got fed up with it today, <laughs> and, and uh, just the there wasn't there wasn't there's not that much left in the in the skein. So I went and just unraveled the whole un, unwound the whole ball and uh, rolled it back up into a ball, and then I was able to put it in my in my yarn bowl. It was much bigger a little while ago. And then this is, I'm still working on this. Let's see, see if I can undo it here without everything falling apart. Uh, let's see. It's getting, it's getting pretty long. Like I said, I'm gonna just keep knitting on this. I don't know how long it's gonna get, but it'll be, <laughs> it'll be fun. Uh, then I found out, or Rachel told me that, uh, Rachel's my youngest daughter, Rachel told me, um, that uh, Joanne's store is closing in Moses Lake. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. This is where I get the yarn for this from. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go over there and see if they're having a, going to have a sale or anything on this yarn and buy as much as I can. But, so that's kind of disappointing. Hopefully not all of Joann's are, are closing down. I, I like that store. I really like the one in Moses Lake. The people that work there are really nice and very helpful. And they're quite, uh, you know, I'm just going to, it's just going to be kind of sad that they're, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll all find jobs elsewhere and maybe I can. I'm sure they'll do well in whatever they do because they're really nice and really good customer service and and just uh, really good people. So, so wish them the best. Um, and I don't know how soon it's closing or anything. So, you know, we'll 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 see. Um, let me see. Uh, my my knee operation is scheduled for. Wednesday the 29th I just day surgery uh, I've been really having trouble I had a lot of trouble with my leg yesterday I think I did too much today's Friday yesterday was Thursday and uh, walked all around Costco and all over the place and <laughs> by the time I got home uh, my I had to ice my knee up and but it just and even the my shin and my calf were just giving me all I had a hard time going to sleep. It was awful. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully my, hopefully on Wednesday, I know, I know it's going to take a while to heal, but it'll be, hopefully it'll be better <laughs> than what it currently is. 
Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep you informed. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting some knitting done next week while I'm recuperating. And I think they already have me scheduled for physical therapy, too. <laughs> Chocolate milk. So we'll see how that goes. My wife has physical therapy on Tuesday, so we'll be going to the same place. Maybe we go at the same time. That'd be fun. So, uh, let me see. Is there anything? Is there anything else? Well, it's been kind of, been kind of slow. I'm enjoying the YouTube channels and. Uh, everything. Uh, really enjoying knitting on this big scarf. It's, it's kind of, oh, we, we had our uh, knit night on Wednesday. That was, that was really fun. Uh, I'm glad I went, even though there was only three of us. There's myself, Rachel, and, and, uh, Reuben. <laughs> brain, brain dead. Um, but anyway, Reuben and uh, we we go to Reuben's house. He has a really nice house, very very nice, quite large. And uh, but anyway, he made. Let me see the last, the weekend before he made uh, caramel popcorn, and then this week on Wednesday he made. Uh, cream cheese and chocolate chip cookies. Oh, they are so good. So, so good. I think I ate three or four. <laughs> I think I ate three. <laughs> and and he sent uh, sent three home for my wife. So that was nice. And she liked them too. Uh, yeah, Rachel had some. And, oh, very good. Those people that don't show up to the meetings don't know what they're missing. <laughs> that just means more for us. <laughs> But I really do wish more people would show up. It would be it'd be nice to have more than three people at the knit nights. But you know, small town, other people have other stuff to do. So, um, yeah. See, other than that, I haven't really done much in here. Uh, done quite a bit of yard work. And, uh, which isn't helping my knee at all, but it has to get done. Planted some, or dug some holes for my wife to plant some plants she bought uh, today. And, um, and yeah, well, it's just been, it's been kind of cruising along this week, though. So, um. But, you know, uh, I hope you've all had a good week. You know, I hope you have a good weekend and a, a good Memorial Day for those in the States. And um, good uh, good week next week. So enjoy your three days off for those who get three days off. And, yeah, let me... Uh, you know, give me a give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Always good to hear from you. And uh, I'll see you on Friday. So, oh, I haven't posted a puppy puppy videos for quite a while, and that's because uh, out of the nineteen puppies, we've sold seventeen of them, and there are two that we're keeping. Um, one is a little girl named Rabbit because she's soft and cuddly like a rabbit. And the other one is called Scooter, even though he used to be called Screamer. <laughs> then my wife said we can't call him Screamer anymore because no one would want him. <laughs> so he changed his name to Scooter. But we're keeping him anyway. So sometimes 
Screamer and Scooter gets bannied back and forth. So. <laughs> uh, they all mean the same thing. He comes to either one of them, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah. Um, but they're really cute and cuddly, and um, Rabbit likes to jump on, jump in my lap while I'm sitting in my chair and cuddle and go to sleep, and that's that's kind of enjoyable. So, so that's what's up with the puppies. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, if I can find um, a couple pictures, I'll I'll throw them in at the end of the video. So, anyway. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment and I'll uh, talk to you on next Friday. Bye.